Hello guys and welcome! That's a bit of a game intro. But anyway, today we're on episode 6, I believe, of our PSV career mode save. And we've got a quite an important game up today. First of all, we've got Bayern Munich. And uh, the table don't look too great at the moment, not going to lie, so we definitely need to beat Genk. If we can pick up at least a draw here against Bayern, that would be awesome. But I know that is asking a lot, especially as Bayern Munich have signed Luis Suarez. There's Müller there, playing it through to Suarez, straight away, and they tried to lob him with a cheeky, cheeky, cheeky effort. But it was a good save from the keeper. Good ball over the top there from whoever that was to the pay. Uh, let's say the cuts in, goes for the pot, but it's straight at. Uh, who's in goal for them? No, yeah, that is it. <laughs> and our youngster there, Van Uijen, nice ball over the top. We're now just through, but the key part there to save their backsides again. Uh, short uh, free kick there, Lam out to Rafina. Nice bit of footwork from him. And I just go in mad with a slide challenge and Alaba for some reason is in the box and he puts it wide. If that was anyone else, that would have probably been a goal. But good, good, good news for us there as uh, Arsenal are 1 0 up against Genk. Pretty even game so far, they've had much more of the possession as you would expect. It seemed like it was only a matter of time before they did score. And nice play by Rafinha again, a bit of a sweaty uh, effort there. Just worries, a good save, but the head out from I think it's Muller. Not too sure, but I always can see them goals where it comes back out and they just head it into an open net, really. Uh, it was good to say by the keeper, anyway. Keeper, but he was off his line, so nothing he can really do from the good save. The pay there, good at trying to put it over the ball, over the ball, over the top. Um, but at this point, I think, you know, as you can see from the stats, 42 58. But uh, good school there by Wijnaldum. Noya there again to the rescue. Here's Wijnaldum in there, plays it to Depay. Nice bit of play there to Lesada. Huge mark, good ball through, but Nathan couldn't get on the end of it, sadly enough. And here's Muller down the wing. They really did go down the wing this game. I could not handle it. Bad challenge by me again, as per usual. Plays it along the ground, and there, that man, Suarez is there to put it in the back of the net and kill any chances of getting any sort of point from this game. Um, that's what Suarez does, he's there where you need him to be. But we did fight on, I think I went a bit more attacking after that. The Seder and Narsing linking up well. Narsing was through, but it was a good save by Neuer. Again, he kept him in the game, I'm fucking telling you. But I did make some stubs, um, a few of them were tiring, so I just thought, oh, there's no point keeping them on. I had to bring on back Shuey just in case he didn't nick a goal, because goal difference could be a thing in that game. But it did stay 2 0. We had more shots than Bayern Munich, surprisingly enough. They only had the four on target, but they did score the two, which is what you would expect. Arsenal there, 2 0 win over Genk, which is really good for us. So that it's a really, really vital game against Genk. We're we'll going to our uh, Eurodivies game against Woolwich. I'm no good at pronouncing these, I'm very sorry. <laughs> I am not Dutch, but I try my best there. Uh, from the corner there, six minutes in. Same header goes straight to the keeper. Here's Ronaldo to Van Ugen. Good play, look at this strike. Oh, brilliant strike. And we go 1 0 up, 10 minutes into the game. And you know this guy, he's young, I think he's only 21, I'm not too sure. And he's good on the ball. Um, I haven't really given him that much of a chance because Hige Mark had a good start to the season. But here we go on the counter again. Narsing uh, over the top to Depay. Depay, what can he do? Turns it back in. Ball over the top. Batshu is there, but what a save. I thought that was in. And from the resulting corner, we do put it in the back of the net. So we go 2 0 up, 25 minutes in. I think that was DeVray. DeVray, I can't say his name either. Oh, I'm fucking useless, I'm telling you. But I think that's his first goal that he's scored for me from a corner. It's usually my striker that's on the end of a corner. Um, I've scored quite a few corners, but... Um, yeah, it's the first time I think he's put one in the back of the net for us. It's all good, it's all good, I must say. Uh, good ball um, down the wing, two back Stewie, cuts in, brilliant play there. Is he going to have a pop? He does, and it comes off the bar, but Narsing's there to tap it home. Bit of a shitty goal. Uh, Batshu did deserve the goal, really, when you think about it, but sadly it did not go in for him. 
and nothing was there to pick up his sloppy seconds, really. <laughs> um, you know, I'm surprised he put that away because his, his finishing's really bad, for me anyway. Um, but his Arias, uh, what? A, I did not want that there. I really didn't. And they get a lifeline just before half time, just after we scored our goal, really. Um, but you know what I mean? I did, really didn't want to play that there. I don't know what the fuck happened. I was holding it to go back the other way, but for some reason it went that way and there's nothing I could do, it's just my fault, but as you can see from the stats, 9 shots, 5 on target, they've only had the 3, and they scored a stupid goal by my mistake, I'm not going to blame FIFA for it, because I should have just booted up the pitch really, so it was my fault, but anyway, straight after the second half interval, Hijmar comes down the wing, don't know why he's down there, plays it to the pay, the pay cut back, has a strike and the keeper with a good save and Batshuayi could not keep that in for shit. I did make some stubs there, took the pay off and brought in Zahar, Leseda also come on for Batshuayi and I brought on the youngster, Dyer, who I was very proud of in the last game, well, not in the last game, in the, the last game we played in the Dutch Cup. Um, Good play there, I could not get the ball for that guy, and it just luckily went wide for us. Um, hits Zahar, what is he going to do? Turns back, somehow comes to Leseda, Leseda playing with the ball, nice bit of skill there, he has a pop, and what a strike again, two brilliant strikes in this game. And Leseda, you know, that Stewie scores, and then Leseda's like, nope, fuck you, I'm going to score a better goal. And it's like, <sighs> why do this to me? It's like... I would like to have a formation where I have two of them playing, but that's not the way that I really play, and I'm not used to playing like that, so I don't want to put that in and then play really shit. I'm all, I've always played with one at the at top. You see, it was quite even to come the end. Really, Wojcik didn't deserve the 4-1 <clears throat> beating. Should have been a closer game, but we did. We was more clinical that game. Um, yeah, uh, with the two up front, I've always played with one up front, even online. But anyway, we get back into our last game of the episode. It's against Nick, um, starting back Shui. See if he can put one in the back of the net this time. And what a ball there by Arias. It comes through to that Shui, takes a touch, and what a goal. I didn't think he was going to get there, because the one of the defenders looked like he was going to get there before him, but... Nice burst of pace and the pay goes through the thingy boards there magically. But anyway, they bounce back with a brilliant ball at the top. I could not outmuscle him. Arias didn't have the the strength and it was a good ball win. And what was the defender doing? He just let him get the header and it's stupid things like that. You know, I, I was obviously pressing the bloody button for him to fucking head it, but he just jumps too late and now player nods it in. But what can you do? Uh, Vink starting today, good ball in, two bats Stewie and it's a good save but it's a tap in for Hijmark But I think it was offside, yes it was, um, we've only had the two shots sadly, I couldn't really get into this game um, But getting into the second half, Williams here down the wing, plays a good ball to bats Stewie, clear Has a pop and it's a good goal by him again, you know It's just like a bit of tennis, you know, bats Stewie, Luceda, bats Stewie, Luceda and I just I think the way I'm doing it right now works because they're both getting play time. Um, if one plays really shit, I'll just sub the other one on. So I think that's where I'm going to keep it for the rest of the season. Um, and hopefully it stays like that. I did make some subs, but Carly looking tired. So I brought on Zahar. I brought on Dyer again. So it's another game for him. And who else did I do? I took the keeper off for some reason. <laughs> I brought on Main, the youngster. Just to give him a little game time. Good one too there with Hijmark and Depay. Plays a ball win and look at that. I think that's the most bizarre goal I've ever scored on FIFA. Um, if that happened to me I would have been fucking going mad. I'm not going to lie. But somehow it goes in. Shockingly enough. As you can see here. I was just playing a, a ball uh, press square three times I think it is. And it plays a slow ball into the box. And it goes straight to the keeper. Comes off him and goes into the back of the net. And a bad challenge by me once again, like a willy, play, they play it over to the far post and it's an easy header. And it's 3-2 and I just concede such stupid goals, I really do. A lot of the time it's from me making stupid mistakes, but a lot of time it's fucking FIFA pissing me off. But as you can see it was a close game, 3-2 was the fair result. Um, 
Nick did deserve the two goals they uh, scored because they played really well in that game. Imagine uh, the other, the other, the other fuck, you know, get the words out, lad. Um, <laughs> but I'll leave you with the squad report once again. I always like to put the squad report in so you just know the stats of the players. Um, come the end of the season, I will put in, like, instead of giving their stats, I might give you the stats, then change over to their, what's it called? I can't, you, you know, you know what I'm fucking talking about. I'll give you both of them uh, so you can see what's going on how much they've improved before the season ends and how many goals they've scored etc anyway i'll leave the episode uh, there guys if you've liked it you know give it a like if you didn't that's fine um if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe it means a lot to me and i'll see you guys later